Hi, I'm Bethany Wallace, Content Manager for College Recruiter. At College Recruiter, we believe every student and recent grad deserves a great career. We create a quality candidate and recruiter experience. Our interactive media solutions connect students and grads to great careers. Today we're going to be talking about how to find a great career mentor. First of all, there are two types of mentors you really need to find when you graduate from college and you start your first entry level job. The first type of mentor you need to seek out is an on-site mentor. So when you find your first job, um, you need to find an, a mentor who works for the same company that you work for, ideally. Um, and this mentor will give you a lot of tips about how to interact with people in the workplace um, because you work for the same company. So they probably know all the ins and outs about that company already. They can give you a lot of mentoring that's really specific to your job. Um, if you can find someone who's a teammate but who has a lot more experience um, in that role or in a similar role, then that would be really ideal. But I'm going to give you tips related to the second type of mentor that you need to seek out, and that's a career mentor. A career mentor is like a lifelong mentor, somebody who's going to really mentor you over the course of your career journey. And this is um, someone who you need to pick and be really selective about and maybe take your time when you're looking for a career mentor. It's not someone who you just kind of scan the crowd and say, okay, you. Uh, it might take you six months to a year or even longer before you find a career mentor. It took me about um, four or five years after college, after graduation, before I found my career mentor. There were a few people along the way who offered me some help and advice until I found um, my career mentor, but it took me that long to really find, find the best person for me. So when you're looking for your career mentor, the first thing is to find someone who has a positive attitude. Uh, you, you don't want to be mentored by someone who's negative because that's just going to bring you down. Um, one of my mentors refers to this as like elevator people and basement people. You want to look for an elevator person, someone who's going to bring you up, not a basement person, someone who's going to drag you down. You'll probably have um, a handful of conversations with your mentor um, across any given year about maybe major decisions you're going to make it related to your career, maybe about big problems that you're facing. And you definitely want your mentor to be encouraging to you and lifting you up. The next tip I give you, give you is when you have conversations with potential career mentors, um, try to get a sense of whether you can easily open up and be honest with those potential mentors. Um, you don't want, you want to make sure that you can really gel well. And what is the comfortability factor? So can you really relax in a conversation? And if you can't, then probably not a good mentor or good fit for you. The next tip I'd give you is to find a mentor who's a great listener. Because you don't just want to find somebody who's a super motivational speaker and you could just listen to them talk all day and get warm fuzzies. That's somebody, you know, maybe you want to listen to that person's podcast. That doesn't necessarily mean that they'd be a great career mentor for you. You want to find a mentor who asks great questions. A mentor who listens at least as much or as often as they um, talk. Because you'll have some things that you need to get off your chest and things that you need to say, things that you need to share um, about where you're at in your career, where you're going, and get feedback on. So you need to find a good listener. Then the last tip I give you is to ask yourself um, when you're trying to build rapport with that mentor and build a relationship is ask yourself how you feel. Reflect on how you feel after you spend time with that potential mentor. And if you feel better after spending time with that mentor, then they're probably a good fit for you. Um, if you feel worse or negative or feel a little bit controlled or like they're trying to push you in a certain direction or judge the actions that you've taken, uh, then that mentor might not be right for you. So I hope these tips help you in choosing your career mentor and that you find one who's perfect for you, as mine is for me. And you can find more tips on um, selecting mentors in the onboarding process uh, when you're starting your entry-level job. 
at collegerecruiter.com. You can also follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and on YouTube.